barefooting right now don't tell anybody but um that was the brownsville station doing barefooting from the album yeah um from 1970 something um good stuff they uh they cover a lot of stuff as they are want to do that was not a cover that was an og if you will and it does also include the hit smoking in the boys room which we won't play but um Anyway, yeah, they used to dress like superheroes. I don't know. They like to rock and roll. Who cares? Before that, you heard the B-side to the single from Holly and the Italians, Miles Away. Apparently, Holly liked to uh, do things involved with needles because that song sounded like it was uh, an ode to doing heroin. So maybe that's why she wasn't as successful as um, we thought she would be. Um, But that was called, uh, it's me. It's called, uh, it's only me. And again, it's from the, the, um, Miles Away single, which does have stickers on the back of it that say, The Right to Be Italian, The Day the World Turned Dago, WAP Rock Rules, and Never Mind the... I can't pronounce that word. Bolognese, uh, I believe it is. um, uh, Which I'm not going to stick that on anything because I'm not Italian. Now, uh, before that, you heard uh, XTC from the Times Square soundtrack but it's actually the single so it's the single from the town's Times square soundtrack the movie uh called take this town and then kicking it all off why not dead babies by uh mr alice cooper and the boys the alice cooper band if you will uh fun fact that song scared the shit out of me and my cousin when we were listening to it in his his basement like the the second he put it on and that part where the baby cries we like ran upstairs and watched the twilight zone so Nothing but fond memories about being scared about dead babies, which doesn't make sense. Anyway, I believe it's time to get weird. So, from the album Everybody Loves Right Now, the new Lucy and Aaron album, uh, this is Lucy and Aaron. Only on the Kenny Brown Show.
fun fact, um, I don't think they invented the selfie, but they really loved the idea of the selfie. The Royal Trucks did. They took more pictures of themselves in the 80s and 90s than, well, I don't know. But they were pretty good at it, and they, uh, you know, and it shows. Just look at their album covers. Anyway, if you didn't could, couldn't figure that out, that was the Royal Trucks with the song Osiris from the album Twin Infinitives at the height of their uh, drug use, clearly. Uh, that was, is some some damaged shit, and I love it. Um, and then before that, you heard Willie Alexander Solo Loco from his album Solo Loco. It's not Willie Andrews Anderson Solo Loco. The album is called Solo Loco, and he's doing a little slice of l- little bit of a little bit of a Bowie light there with the song Gin. I think I've played that before, but you know you didn't hear it, right? Maybe you did. I don't know. Um, and then before that, from the album Electric Coffee, Dennis Coffee and his Detroit guitar band with the song Son of Scorpio. Um, fun fact on that, fun in quotes, Dennis Coffey was the guy who, uh, he played guitar on a lot of uh, Motown albums, and he was the guy who brought Fuzz and Wah to the Motown sound in the early 70s. He was that guy. So, uh, and also this, uh, the album boasts that all sounds, aside from drums, are made with guitars. Like, they, uh, they tried to make the, hor- the guitars sound like horns, stuff like that. Anyway, what you get is just porno music, but um, I'm, I'm fine with that. And then kicking it all off, you heard the Aaron Dillaway and Lucretia Dalt album, Lucy and Aaron. And the song is a long title. And I've got to pick up the album to look at it because I can't remember it. It's Demands of Ordinary Devotion. And that is vocals by Lucretia Dalt and tape loops by Aaron Dillaway and synth by Lucretia Dalt, too, I assume, um, to make a, a lovely little whatever that was. I like it. Anyway, uh, that just came out this this year. It's good stuff on Hanson Records. Go get it. And now, to continue on to the uh, with the I'm just winging it and um, art damaged stuff, let's listen to some Pussy Galore. Oh, my God. 
unless you live under a rock, and maybe you do, or unless you just don't give a shit, you do know that uh, Dusty Hill passed away recently, and it was real sad, and everybody's bummed out, unless you don't care. But if you do care, he did, and that's really sad. And that's why I just played It's Only Love by the ZZ Top. And then before that, I played the whitest cover of Ride My Chevrolet, also by ZZ Top, but by the Ann Arbor band The Wiz Kids, which was just drums and organ and i really wanted to like it but unfortunately it sounds like that which is pretty much the tantamount to eating just cottage cheese and before that you heard olive lawn covering i heard it on the x and then before that you heard pussy galore covering the rolling stones from the exile on main street tape put onto a record um and you heard turd on the run now we're about ready to wrap things up here we being me um, standing in front of this stuff and I don't know I just want to listen to some craft work don't you
continue to kill. The stormtroopers continue to march into Poland, Czechoslovakia, Norway, Vienna, killing the innocent, destroying their land. Always their crimes will set the music, marching you. This is the house.
you didn't come here to hear Debbie Gibson dub remixes with Hitler or talking over the top of it, I don't know why you came here. I don't know why I came here. I don't know why I did that. So please accept that that was just a joke and that not really seriously anything bad. But I hope you enjoyed this show that we did at noon. I did at noon. I don't know why I keep saying me. I did it myself. Anyway, tune in for more at some point and let's all try to get along. Yeah.